So ChatGPT makes it super easy to create things like ebooks, guides, and checklists, especially if you're trying to create lead magnets or digital products that you can sell or offer as a free opt-in so that you can grow your email newsletter or just grow your business in general. Before ChatGPT came around, I used to take a long time to write my ebooks and get my thoughts together and figure out what to say. But with ChatGPT, I can create a very long and detailed ebook something that my ideal customer or client would like in like five minutes. So now there are two tools I use to create my eBooks and checklists and guides and PDFs. And that is number one, ChatGBT. And number two, I use Canva to actually put the text from ChatGBT into a PDF that can be downloaded and shared. If you go into ChatGPT and you just put in any type of information, it could give you really bad writing and really bad language where your ebook or guide will sound robotic. And you don't want that to happen. So today I'm gonna to show you how to prompt ChatGPT so it sounds human, it sounds enticing, it sounds real. And there are certain things you have to do. Number one, you have to do multiple prompts. You also have to break up each section of the ebook or the guide so that ChatGPT could go in and write it correctly. So let me give you a few things you need to specify. The first thing is you wanna go into ChatGPT and you wanna tell it what the topic of the ebook is gonna be about and who it's for, who is the reader, who is the audience, because ChatGPT is gonna change the language to speak to that specific type of reader. The second most important thing you need to specify in your ChatGPT prompt is tone of voice. So tone of voice is the type of flow or style of writing that ChatGPT will give you back if you tell it what to say. So let me give you an example. Tone of voice can include like talking in the first person or the third person. So first per person would be, so today everyone, I am going to show you how to do X, Y, Z. That's first person because you're saying I. Third person is speaking in general. So you'll say, this is how we do X, Y, Z, or this is how one does this and this and that. So you're gonna be talking like it's not you, it's just someone talking, like a narrator is talking. It's not a personal type of conversation. You also wanna make sure the tone is clear. So do you want it to be upbeat? Do you want it to be inspirational, motivational? Do you want it to be friendly, personable? That's another type of tone of voice uh, specification you have to put into the prompt. You can also say, write this ebook aimed at teenagers looking to go into college and how to prepare for the summer. So when you do something like that, ChatGPT is gonna speak to Gen Z or the millennials or whatever generation is, you know, <laughs> when you watch this years from now, whatever the new generation is who's in high school is going to speak to that specific age group. So if you're writing a very technical document, let's say you're writing something for attorneys or for engineers, you you want to specify that as well because then ChatGPT will create language for that specific audience. Here's another tip. If you're trying to create content that's going to go after a very mass wide audience, like you want to appeal to everyone of all age groups, you can say something like write this guide using an eighth grade reading level because that's what eighth grade middle school. And so it'll be a little bit more toned down and simple for people to understand regardless of where they are in the world, uh, regardless of English is their first or second language, or regardless of their age group. So what you wanna do for the ebook to sound personable, you wanna ask ChatGPT to first create an outline for the ebook or the guide. Don't ask it to write the whole thing in one shot because you need to go back to every section that it gives you and then you need to refine that section so that it's very specific about what's gonna be covered. Don't make a mistake of just telling it to write you the whole thing because it won't come out right. All right, so you can say something like, write an outline for a guide on how to get scholarships for high school students, for college. All right, so now it's gonna give you this whole outline breaking down what is part of that process of getting a scholarship, but the different things you have to do, how to prepare, what types of scholarships are available, the different types of applications you have to submit. Now, the next thing you wanna ask ChatGPT to do is to take the first introduction section and write it and specify how many words you want the introduction to be and what tone of voice you want it to be in. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell ChatGPT, I'm gonna say, write the introduction paragraph aimed at high school students age 14 to 18 in an up beat and personal tone, personal tone of voice in the first person. And then you want to say, make this about 50 words. 
Now, for this section, you don't have to do it in first person. You could put it in third person, depending on how you want it to sound. So this is just a personal decision that you could decide on. All right, now you want to go to the, the first uh, section where it's talking about understanding scholarships, the different types of scholarships. And you want to tell ChatGPT to write that in a specific tone of voice. You're going to say, write the second section in more detail within 300 words. All right, so we have that section done. It wrote out everything that you need, really, if you look at it. So it's um, basically really telling you the details of what it takes to create scholarships. And this is information I had no clue about. So I'm learning things on ChatGPT. So now what you want to do is you want to repeat the same step for every single section in this guide that you just created with ChatGPT. When you get to the conclusion section, what you're going to want to do is you want to do the same thing you did for the introduction paragraph and just repeat it for the conclusion and tell it you want the conclusion to be about 50 words and that's it. All right, so now what you could do is you could just copy and paste what you created in ChatGPT and you could put it in a tool like Canva. So here I am in Canva right now and all I have to do is come into ChatGPT and start copying the different sections I just created. So I create the paragraph section. I can go into my lead magnet and I can just copy and paste it. So here we go. I'll just go ahead and copy and paste it here. And then I can go back to ChatGPT and I can go to the scholarship section, understanding scholarships, copy that, and then come back to my ebook and put it right in here. And all I have to do is format it correctly so that each page looks good. The thing about Canva is you can actually take your document and download it as a PDF, which I highly recommend if you're going to be sharing eBooks, guides, checklists. It just makes it easy for people to consume that content. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial on how to use ChatGPT to get the type of content you want and to sound human-like and not robotic. Um, so if you're interested in learning more about creating content, ChatGPT, growing an online business, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will see you again very soon. Take care.